Ooh, what's up guys, of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle, narrated by yours truly, the Scarander. And alright, today we're just gonna watch Eric again, of course, and uh, this is the third uh, LBA match he had, and it's against the marvelous and the creature and beast that is Verlet. You guys saw Verlet against Esclo, one against him, 1-0, and just overall, Verlet is a very, very strong battler. And uh, we're just going to look quick at Eric's team here and see he has switched up the team a bit and actually avoided the Cresselia due to Hydreigon, it feels like. And also overall, it really feels like Eric actually stepped up his game and brought a much more aggressive team here with Conkledur and Exploud and Gligar actually here. Um, which makes the battle interesting because it feels like Eric thought the previous battle also was too slow and he wanted something else out of it. Now, Verdless here is playing pretty, pretty darn aggressive, like, I do believe he has his bulk champ here, which is um, much more defensively invested with Rocky Helmet, but other than that we've got Hydreigon, Quagsire, Flodius, Garchomp, Alakazam, and Mandibus. So yeah, I do see Garchomp in the lead, or a pretty darn sweet Hydreigon um, could also be a lead if he's fast. And for Eric's side, don't start off with Scrobat, just don't. I do believe that will not pay off well. I think lead with Gligar or Registeel will work best in his favor. Or Conkler. Conkler hurts hard on a lot of these guys. Actually, let's just actually find out. Or, you know, you could go Ryan or, you know, uh, the Green Scrafty. I think it started with Explosion from time to time. That shit is freaking dangerous. Alright, let's see what actually happens here. So, yeah, Verlet has an issue and going to challenge. He's gonna start off with a Crobat. Ah, oh, that's. I don't believe that's the right call to make. I don't. Uh, luckily, here, Verlet do start off with the Manibus. So, that's good. Um, that's a Rocky Helmet. So, it seems like Verlet actually thought something like that would happen. So, there's the Registeel. These guys can't do anything against one another, so nice having a knockoff there to get rid of the leftovers, I guess. Yeah, there we go. But, ooh, and it's taunting him! You're finished, Registeel! You're finished! <laughs> Alright, and there's a fall. Oh, this is gonna do nada. Yeah, it's time to get out. It's time to get out. Or actually, I guess Rocky Helmet kind of helps here. Um, it actually is enough to scare him off. Or of course, has a, a good recovery. It's gonna go into the beast that is Conkledur. And I'm guessing here, at best he has Ice Punch, right? Uh, hoping for Shear Force here, it will help. But that's the only call. We're actually just going for Drain Punch for damage. Yeah, there we go. And Quaggy is gonna soak that. E Ish gonna ish soak that but I don't see Quagsire being that dangerous uh, besides of course getting the skull bird so right the pressure is real here Quagsire is not really dealing with this and there's a skull but with life orb it seems likely that he is um, sheer force this time around to actually utilize of course the life orb um, Life orb effects. So anyway, there's a quags out of the way. Um, so I think they are five for five now. The pressure is definitely on uh, Verlet's side here. He is definitely feeling it. So Floyd is gonna come in now. Does it pack the poison jab? Maybe, but we will not find out. He's not risking that. Back to all right. Hmm. There's the Moonblast. Right, so Verlet is playing it safe. And this, of course, will do nothing. Because it's a Bridges Steel. And we're gonna get some free rocks here. Or at best, he could have Thunder Wave and just stop something. No, he's gonna go for rocks. Alright, so he's forcing the Defogger to come in here. Or not to come in, but he's forcing the Defogger to happen. There's a Taunt again! Now, I do believe he went for a Sesame Toss here. You fool! Eric! No! <laughs> oh, that was a tough call though, that was a tough call to make. 
All right, so there's a knockoff. That is to be expected. And you got to knock off the specs? No, a soul fist. Right. So, boom burst is what's upcoming. Now, I do believe if this thing is specs, that it could have been a 2 hit KO. But, all right, he actually is not gonna. He, is he seeing this coming? I do believe so. I do believe so. Hmm. Hmm. Is he gonna go for cross poison this time? Huh. But he could bring the guard champ into that. No. Crow. Or mm, bus. Matty bus. Right, cross poison. So, yeah, that should do nothing. Uh, uh. Girl, what is happening? This Madibus is just coming in, just saying, nope. You will not pass. Damn. This guy is just doing it. Like, there is no tomorrow. There is knockoffs everywhere. You can see blood everywhere from this thing. You got a bone as a hairband. That's how much blood this thing is spreading. It is the killer, after all. Nobody, nobody deals with the Manibus. So Manaphy is gonna come, and I really hope something happens. Florius is definitely gonna come in here, uh, trying to take whatever damage is gonna come. Now, will he just go for attack directly? I wouldn't set up if I had a Florius around me. Eric is gonna do that play though, so I'm guessing he's gonna try to stay in. But I'm expecting Flodius to have the likes of Energy Ball or Giga Drain in worst case scenario. I see Skulls you do roughly against 50, yeah. Somewhere around there. And Verlet is not packing the Energy Ball. And judging by that damage, that would not have helped. But a special attack drop is important because I do believe that in with a bit of luck that um, the Flodius actually can live this. Hmm. I do believe he can take a skull after that. And we're gonna see some wish, I guess. He lives! He lives. He goes for damage though. I guess that's the right move to make. And oh ho ho ho! That tail glow is now vanished. That's too bad. That is actually too bad. Ooh, that's rough. <laughs> I am so sorry. Right, let's gonna go for ice cream here. Um, I guess that's a safer move in case I decide to switch out. Um, hmm. What will happen now is a big question. I'm guessing God Chomp is naturally faster, but it could die by doing a play like that. Alright, he's actually just gonna go for the safer move with a um, hoping. This thing is Sash, but it could also be that it just light forward and just have some massive damage to um, share really. That's right, it's going for a safe move which is the energy ball. It is resisted, but I believe, yeah, there is a shadow ball. It was either that or hidden power fighting, and this should be just about enough. That crit did not matter whatsoever. The damage output is there naturally from the Alexam. So, na 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 he's gonna come in and he is not risking it. Maybe that means that he is not sashed. Just maybe. And U-turn. Uh, Alright. This Crobat is really taking unnecessary damage turn after turn. This thing has really... It could have such a massive damage output. But the Madibus is just there to stop it directly. So Loudness is going to come in now. And without the uh, Flodius, he has nothing that want to take this boom of the Burstus. <sighs> How much will this do without Specs? Or assault as for that matter. Oh shit. Oh shit. That's that's unfortunate. Alright. <laughs> oh no, no, it actually lived. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it's too bad. Is... <laughs> the worst part is here, um, Eric can't really switch out, he has to keep going for it. Um, he does less damage than the roots recover, but not by a lot. So, I guess there's a reason to stop doing so, but... God, God damn, I thought they got him. 
I thought that crit got him. But he needs another crit to do it. Actually, make this work, and I want her. Verlet, you lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> so, alright, like I said, it, it, there is really nothing Eric can do besides of just keep going for the boom burst. He got the side switch out, but that is basically gonna be that this Mandy of the buses is back on, almost full health. Nothing happened, his helmet is very rocky, with a bone, and you are not gonna stop this guy. Manibus is just such an MVP, such an MVP this match. There is no denying that fact, Manibus is the hero, and it wheeling down Pokemon by a freaking bone for a helmet. That's... that's too bad. <laughs> Alright, Conqueror orders Nog up, alright. And bye bye Life Orb. Hmm. He had Poison Jab. He had Poison Jab. Oh, if only, if only you actually took out the Florius with that. I truly believe Conqueror should have enough punch behind it to finish that off. That's as too bad. Alright, and of course. Foul play did just too much damage. Um, Mug punch? And that should kill the Conqueror. Did it kill the Manibus or did it live? It's still flapping its wings. Yeah, it's still beating. This son of a bitch is not dead. <laughs> no, it's gonna fall to Crobat eventually. Oh. God damn, after 25, 21 turns of Mandibus, it's gonna fall. What a freaking champ! <laughs> damn, I should have just saved that just for the definition of it all. Mandibus, what a hero. So, with Da Vinci, the Alakazam is gonna come in here. And I think he can finish off this game just as it is. I'm actually suspecting now that it's probably a Sash, he just wants to preserve it. So. I do believe Crobat is one of his last Pokemons. Um, Alright, it's actually not. He actually can't switch that out. And he can't switch out to the Man of Us. So it's gonna be the Chomp. Chomp, Chomp. Alright, he's gonna get some rough skin going there. I guess that's kinda nice. Um, I wonder, it's Crobat and one more. Is it the Registeel that's left? Gary. Oh, it's the Gligar. Kind of forgot about him. So, right, Verlet can lock himself into Outrage, and that should be GG. Oh. That was a rough match, though. And also a very long one. Very long one. Um, and, of course, your favorite Manibus is, of course, what actually stands out here. Um, Alright, he actually had a few pokes left. Eric actually had a lot of Pokemon left. It just... It couldn't deal with the Mandibus. I think if I had to um, pick him, pick a given moment that um, Eric had a chance to turn this one around, it probably would have been if um, he just went for... Oh, he's actually going to kill by the recall alone. How about that? What a way to go down. Alright. Um, what I wanted to say is when he had the exploit against the Mandibus, it would have been a much better option to switch into the Manaphy Risking it of being, of course, dead with um, foul play knockoff, but that would have been a better option to get real damage output on the Manibus. Um, there were a lot of tears and blood shared here today against that Manibus, and he, like I said, that bone for his head, it is against his fallen victims. Um, Verda played a very good game here, there's no denying it. Verda didn't really have to go out of his way to be offensively, he just needed to be defensively enough to make sure that Eric will down his own team. And um, being that Eric switched his team this battle to not be that stalling, I think it actually hurt him here. And I think we're gonna see him changing that up in the next battle. But anyway, guys, awesome match. 40 turn battle. Wow, long battles here today, people, but very, very interesting ones indeed. So, right. Let's actually go into the next one.